Guys, from your Sass Assassin, welcome to another cigar review. And today we are doing another one of those Metallica weird stuff called Black and S84 Shade to Black. Here, part two, and this one is even lighter than the previous one. So uh, I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but hopefully this is something good. I've been uh, today is actually roughly a uh, nicer day, and then it's brighter outside. As so I figure, I, I do a review a little bit earlier on, and then have another smoke later at night. But I'm hoping it should be a good cigar, so I don't have to ruin the rest of the, the day. You know what I'm saying? So let's take a look at the cigar. Black and Cigar by Jew Estate S84 Shade to Black Toro. 6 by 52 MSRP $10. 50 cents in a box of 20. The wrapper is Connecticut Shade. Of course, Shade to Black, right? Binder is Connecticut Broadleaf. And the fillers are Pennsylvania and Nicaraguan. Okay. Uh, sounds like um, they are a pretty good uh, combo. But we'll, we'll see what happens because the, the leaf looks just, just very light. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, take off that foot band again, textured just like the other one. I don't remember the number, S81 or something like that. There we go, textured as you can see, pretty nice. All right, shade, shade, shade to black. Just cedar. I don't smell anything different. Mm, okay. Cap that the tobacco is overly soft. I don't know. Draw is very loose. Cedar and hay. Little bit. A little bit of sweetness and I just taste a, just a sprinkle of salt. Not a lot. Just a little bit of saltiness. Let's get started. I'm gonna light this up. I'm gonna smoke it. I'm gonna watch some reviews. And record this review. It's a good day. Okay. A little bit mineral, pepper, hay, leather. a little bit of like a caramel ish but it doesn't go really sweet a little bit of earthiness 
I want to say the, the... A little bit floral as well. All right, this is what I got for now, and I'll smoke one third. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're at first third. Now, the, the cigar itself is not bad. Uh, it's relatively light on the medium side, okay? Uh, the the flavor is uh, relatively smooth, not metallic-like, metallica-like, smooth, fruity, bready, woodsy, cereal-like taste, all right? With a little bit of pepper, that kind of slowly went away. Okay, and there is a hint of like a cocoa or like mocha kind of creaminess at the end. It's relatively nice. It's a very relaxing cigar. It does not taste like how the name will have implied. It's a relaxing cigar. Not bad. I, I kind of like it. Not bad. I, I was kind of find faults in it because I thought, you know, calling black and cigar, that's not black. It's kind of weird. But after I taste it, it's like, you know what? I got to be fair. It tastes pretty good. Um, quite relaxing. Sweet. Dessert. Nice. So we'll give it that. We'll give that to them. So first third, not too bad. Very good. Pepper died down. Sweet taste. Fruity. Cereal. Bready. Woodsy. Pepper. So we got. That's what we got. Yeah, it's it's really creamy. It's really creamy. So let's smoke a second third. We'll be right back. Second third. This cigar is absolutely okay. Uh it's not bad. It has some transition from a lot of sweetness and fruity to more of a white powdery pepper um white powdery pepper and nutty and a little bit bitterness still creamy a little bit And there's also a little bit of like this cooling sensation. That's pretty much it for the second third. I prefer the first third more than the second third, but there is a transition. So you got to put credit where it's due. There is transition. There is changes. There is thought or what my heart, my, my, my wife will say, a little heart in this blend um, to, to change it up. So it's not very boring. Um, but it didn't change to it the way I like it, but rather it changed to a peppery Connecticut-ish flavor. I, I prefer the first third a little bit more. Yeah. That bitterness is subtle though. It's not like crazy bitterness. It's just like, it was sweet. Now in comparison, now it's bitter. Okay. So yeah, last third. Finishing this up and then go to summary. Um, but I think we can just take a look at the band because it's not much to show on the band. Let me see if I can remove it, of course. There you go. Blacken. That's all you get. That's all you get. All right. That's all you get. All right. Last stir. Be right back. All right. Last stir. In my opinion, cigar just gets worse and worse. But some people might think the cigar is getting better and better. I just want to be fair here, okay? The last third is just hay and pepper. Hay and pepper. Hay and pepper. There, there is not much to it. Now, some people might like it because that gave them a transition to kind of slow down. I like a ramp up transition in terms of flavor. Some people might a may like a relaxed slow down on their flavor and there's a lot of cigars that kind of die at the end people like it i i don't like when the cigar dies in the the end so i don't like it all that much but for me i see the effort to make a cigar that transitions all right transitions so with that being said 
it's not a bad cigar. It's just... It's just not something normally I will like. Would I smoke this once in a while? Probably. I like it's not even bad enough for me to say I will never smoke this again. Right? It's actually something that if you smoke something strong and you finish this with last I said last cigar kind of just slows it down, slows it down, slows it down, slows it down. It's not bad. I don't like the combo of hay and pepper because it starts to taste kind of boring and bad. But if you're drinking something sweet, like a Coke, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. So I'll recommend this as the last cigar of the day, as a slow down or chill down, or a last cigar of that serious cigar you are going to smoke. So for example, like, you know, I'm hanging out, I have three cigars. This will be my last cigar, right? It's not very heavy. It's about medium. It kind of tried to creep up to medium and plus, but it, it never reached there. It was relaxing. I was able to smoke the cigar while working on a, on a PC that I was building for my wife. It wasn't bad. It was relatively relaxing. Like I said, relatively relaxing. It was not bad at all. So with that being said, I'm giving this cigar $14. $14. Not a bad cigar. Not the greatest, but it has its place in a cigar collection in a cigar habit that you smoke and then you want to wind down for the day or wind down for this particular session this is a good one but i would be disappointed if this was my first cigar of the day because at the end it ramped down and then whatever you smoke it's gonna be heavier and you're like ah yeah and you gotta forget about this cigar as a last cigar not too bad now some people like finish the cigar session with the boom i don't like that because i don't like the feel of like uh, at the end i don't like that right I, I i like it like after i smoke like let's go have a meal or like whatever you know go do other things that's relaxing rather than i'm down for the day i'm dead you know so this cigar has its place it's not too bad i give it 14 um i forgot how much it was for, like 13 something i think but uh, 14 this is well worth it 14 for a cigar that is interesting yet makes a a nice punchy not punchy um nice comfortable connecticut finish it's it's really hard to uh, uh describe that oh it's kind of relaxing and i just finish off but it's more interesting than just a connecticut shade but it's got transitions. It's not boring. All right. So. Well, that being said, that is it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out our podcast. And um, check out our membership session as I am going through process of giving away a cigar. So all the member who are paid subscribers will have a chance to go to that particular video and put down what they want for a prize cigar and i'll randomly choose the right person wh whoever that be and i'll go buy that cigar and that's your win right whatever you named fits the budget got chosen that will be the cigar you get okay so i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys